and it's just Xenoblades. All right, so like the thing was gonna begin shortly. Stay tuned for a video from Masahiro Sakurai, Banjo, and Kazooie are raring to go. Okay, here it is. We didn't even have to start. We didn't have to wait very long. Hello, everyone. Domo I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. He's gonna... Okay, no one criticize him for rolling because he's clearly got two pro controllers in front of him. He's gonna be controlling both characters. Only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself. Hey, dude, he controllers. Let's go! You're a fucking boss, dude. I'm sorry. Hero, I keep swearing. If you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Dude, he's- this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the- I love this man, dude. So, even though it's a bit He's straight up just, like, bodying all the naysayers. He's like, let me show you how I run shit. I know this game better than all of y'all. I could play this game. I could versus myself. Only person who can beat me is me. So, let's go, Sakurai. Kazooie? You're a god. Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance. This in man in a game actually cares so much about this After game. That, this man was released. cares so much about the Banjo history of the characters that he puts into the game. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, <sighs> although they never came to Japan. Inspiration, dude. I don't understand anybody who and can give him any flack. Like... Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. <laughs> Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Of course they were, Bros. dude. Who the hell doesn't want their character for that, in Smash Bros? I'm extremely Bros. grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo-Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please, give the game a try on Xbox. That's so funny. That's so, that's so sweet. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. I get so emotional listening to this guy talk, dude. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. He is okay. such a, like, character. Let's take a look at the fighter. Part of Challenger, Challenger Pack 3. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack wrap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. You know, he may not actually be that bad. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. 
In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Brigal Bash. I think Brigal is the type of bird Kazui is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is wing whack. Their back air is an air ratatat rat, which hits three times. Their down air is beak buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Ah, oh, he might be decent, dude. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here Brigal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. Uh, you can it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Uh, so I don't like that move, dude. <laughs> As in their original game, it's an invincible If, if Banjo is good, if Banjo is like spammy and good, like it's fairly I'm gonna have to use them. Basically, win against any other attack. However, but this character is gonna be annoying to deal Banjo's with. Head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number Does of uses Does it have KO potential? You can use it as a recovery option. That's not too hard and to do. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, oh, I used attacks. it once, it I have, have four left. Disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack. His recovery looks kind of ass, move. actually. Like, that OP does not seem very good. Next doesn't go very far. Shock spring, shock spring jump. jump. This That's move the utilizes the shock spring pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the shock spring pad. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Yeah. By the way, his recovery's ass. The height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. That makes sense. Note the slight difference in height. Still does not Next, go that much. For their farther. down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Still, I mean, you can ret you can retreat and while you use that move, shape, but so bouncy trajectory it looks like it should be kind of punishable. Time, like it will explode. You should be able to just jump right over him. I think it will be a useful tool or use a reflect. Check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Your opponents bro. can also throw it back at you, but its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. You can use it as an edge guard. It's like gonna be a pretty good like ledge trap actually. You can space yourself at the ledge, drop a bomb, and then you're like positioned perfectly to like uh, that will cover like neutral getup, maybe force a jump. You can cover jump on reaction. You can cover roll on reaction. Like. Shit.
shit, bro. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this, fam. This stage is called Kurukuruyama in Japan, but in the West, it's called Spiral Mountain. Kurukuruyama. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Bros. series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A this stage, will also this stage is not legal. <laughs> this stage is hella not legal. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad. Oh, that floor there, dude. Around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Nice. Your dude, Sakurai knows how to play Smash Bros. <laughs> are useful at times like this, and thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Note we're playing with items on. Bro. <laughs> dude, he's taunting on him. Damn, Sakurai is toxic. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And stage since the looks final cool, smash meter is stage on, the opponent fun. can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use oh, you can two more times. You can use that to recover uh, vertically. That's not bad. I mean horizontally. The the Oops, I guess I should be beagles, beagle bash. Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, the final smash meter is filled up. You can have that. Now. Damn, that kills. Okay, that and kills. Nice. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And final smash. I forced him out, so That's I win. pretty strong. Nice. Did he lose a stock? I don't think he lost a stock. <laughs> I don't think those CPUs were. They were probably like level fucking three or something, but whatever. That's a wrap. That's sick. Thank you, Sakurai. Very awesome. Very cool, Sakurai. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo-Tooie. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo yeah, Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? Yep. She's running at the bottom. Yep, there she is. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail. Even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. <laughs> and after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. 
She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over. Damn, Sakurai, damn. <laughs> oh, Chill out, dog. What the hell? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> Might as well throw them in there, why this not? This is what right? they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas, so I hope you enjoy it. This man cares so much, dude. Even if the if the stage is not Next, competitive, like I like As to I play casually. Earlier, I like free for all. Down music down and adapting music. it for use in battle. We're including a total of ten music tracks. Nice, pretty good, pretty good for a of these for a boomer for a boomer ways. character. I've always thought that getting all this for five ninety nine is a fantastic deal. So I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. So cool. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Version 5. Point. Alongside oh. the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software. What? Update. We're going from 4 to 5? <laughs> We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Oh, Ultimate. of course you are. Damn it, Sakurai. Damn it, Nintendo. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode. Oh, let's which will get it. Much be our final the new final mode. new mode. I'm Please let it be something so fantastic. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? And here it oh! is. I can't believe it, dude! In front of you as much as possible. And with this Home run contest! Not with this. Wow, what a but beautiful background. Wow, it looks go. so awesome. High. Maybe a little too high. And so. Please tell me that I didn't break the targets, dude. Please tell me that I didn't break the targets, dude. Previous home run contest, so please enjoy. This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. Unbelievable. You can actually play with a second player. Break the targets, dude. Break the freaking targets. Keep attacking using both players. He's doing, he's literally controlling both. Here we go. Do you see how he was playing, dude? No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> I hope you play this with your friends. Move comes shared some content. Oh. Many people have uploaded their customized oh. me Okay, you can change their their move sets. That's pretty nice. Up until now, it they may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special they, moves. They, that was like moving forward, they didn't need to do this, but they did, and that's awesome. Moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update, so I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look.
Extra me fighter costumes. Round three. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ninja. Boy, I'm on. Here comes the, the rest of the de deconfirmed characters. Alright, we get more Mega Man shit. Let's go. Proto Man. That was tragic, dude. That was so sad. <laughs> oh, dude, they're they're just deconfirming all the damn characters, dude. <laughs> this is a massive slap in the face, bro. This is the part that no one looks forward to at all. Pokemon? What do we? What is it? Ah, uh, Team Rocket. That's sick. They're cool though. They're cool. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Team Rocket deconfirmed for Smash. That's tragic. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get Shreked, dude. Put a freaking Shrek costume in there with a new remix included, though. Like music? That's pretty baller. That's kind of tight. They put Undertale music in the game. Dude, that one comes with music, though. That's sick. Oh, that's so cool. 75 cents each. <laughs> We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. That's a pretty dope, will be listed in dope the song. Other category, so you can check it out there. That's pretty cool. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. Toby has actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he That's was so probably the strongest. Wow. That's when we both chose random and played, good the win know. ratio was about half and half. Oh, damn. Sim. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> He's like, I'll remember it. I'll remember Next, it in my favor. I'd like to though. talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Squirtle. Squirtle. Ivysaur. I like how he put them all in different places. Like he's pulling them out and from, from all these different. What the hell? He was hiding. <laughs> That's so. so funny. They will each be available on September. He's 20th. so funny, dude. I love Sakurai. What an adorable man. The software update, including the I hope he's happy, man. DLC, I hope will be he's available really today. Unbelievable. Challenger Part 4, Terry Bogart joins the battle. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? That was sick, yeah. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Please. You oh, you didn't have to. You really didn't have to. This is amazing. Terry Bogard looks sick. I'm going to play him. Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more Dude, DLC fighters. Mexico is about to be so damn lit to in me, this game. It feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Forever! We love you. But I'm also excited. Thank you, Sakurai. Uh, you're so you're the best. You're the you're the best. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. That's amazing. I'm so happy. And ultimately, Sora is finally going to be in the game. An even greater opportunity to delight the fans. Sora is going to be in the freaking game. At the same time, 
I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in yeah. game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing... He's game. never gonna stop. This game is gonna... This is, game is gonna go on for so long, dude. That's it we're getting at, le like, well, at least one much. other... Like, that, that meant we're getting at least one other fighter pack, you know what I mean? Unbelievable. That's unbelievable.